In 2012, the San Francisco 49ers built Levi's Stadium costing $1.85 billion when adjusted for inflation. Yet, despite the hefty price tag, this stadium doesn't even rank among the most expensive in the US. So what is in the top five? Welcome to FOS Explains. Today, we're going to dive into the world of NFL stadiums and uncover the massive costs behind the most luxurious venues in the United States. Home of the Dallas Cowboys, AT&T Stadium is the world's largest dome structure. Construction costs about $1.9 billion after inflation, and it was really built to be a multi-purpose venue. Over the years, AT&T Stadium has become a premier destination for mega events like concerts, boxing matches, pro wrestling, soccer games, and even major college sporting events like bowl games and the Final Four. The stadium has a retractable roof and some of the world's largest retractable glass doors. When fully open, it gives fans a unique blend of indoor and outdoor experiences. But fans don't have to worry about that extreme Texas heat, because the seating bowl is also completely cooled thanks to 11,000 tons of air conditioning. AT&T Stadium also has a flexible seating arrangement. It can retract the lower bowl seats to make more floor space for events like basketball or major fights. Overall, the stadium has about 80,000 seats, but can hold over 100,000 fans for larger events. The stadium offers over 300 luxury suites, some with private outdoor patios, and massive glass walls that provide an unparalleled view of the Dallas skyline. AT&T Stadium is equipped with what was originally the largest high-definition video board in the world. The four-sided video board stretches about 60 yards. The stadium also has more than 3,000 HD video monitors scattered throughout the building, ensuring that every fan, whether in a luxury suite or standing room only, never misses any of the action. And one lesser known fact about the stadium is that it features an impressive art collection curated by the Jones family. It has works from internationally renowned artists, turning the stadium into a mini museum for visitors. Coming in at number four is Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. This $1.6 billion stadium opened its doors in 2017 as the home to both the Atlanta Falcons and Atlanta United FC. The stadium was designed to rank among the most advanced and supportive places in the world for sports fans with exciting features and advanced technologies, most notably its unique roof. The retractable roof of Mercedes-Benz Stadium is designed like a pinwheel. It has eight triangular panels that open and close just like a camera shutter, and it's faster than other retractable roofs in sports too, opening and closing in around 12 minutes. This unique roof design was inspired by the wings of a falcon, a nod to the Atlanta Falcons mascot. Mercedes-Benz Stadium can normally hold about 71,000 football fans, but can easily expand to about 75,000 for bigger events like the Super Bowl. In soccer games, the stadium shrinks though. They cover the upper decks, creating a more intimate feeling for fans. Mercedes-Benz Stadium also has a turf field, so it's ready for any weather condition when the roof is open. Technology is one of the defining features of Mercedes-Benz Stadium. It has a 360 degree mega halo board instead of a jumbotron to allow the roof to open and close. And they have a video board they call the Mega Column. It spans 67,000 square feet. The lead designer says the column has more square footage than the main video displays at 19 pro football stadiums and 24 MLB parks. The stadium also offers some of the fastest in-stadium Wi-Fi and other fan features, letting fans order food from their phone, find parking, and download live stats through the stadium's app. The stadium also has eco-friendly capabilities, including water conservation systems, solar panels, and a stormwater capture system to lessen its environmental footprint. Construction began in May 2014, and it officially opened in August 2017. The project was originally estimated to cost just under a billion dollars, but the complexity of the retractable roof and the stadium's other tech pushed the total cost to $1.6 billion, which today is about $1.92 billion after inflation. About $700 million of the construction funds came from bonds backed by the Atlanta hotel and motel tax money. Many residents complained that money could have been used for other public needs. But despite these criticisms, Mercedes-Benz Stadium has joined the ranks of top-tier sports and entertainment venues around the globe, hosting events like the Super Bowl, the College Football Playoff National Championship, and will even be a key host for the 2026 FIFA World Cup.
Next on the list is MetLife Stadium, located in East Rutherford, New Jersey. The home of the New York Giants and the New York Jets costs about $2.3 billion after adjusting for inflation. MetLife Stadium has the capacity to accommodate 82.5 thousand fans, making it one of the biggest in the NFL. It also features 4,000 club seats and 218 luxury suites. The stadium keeps fans close to the action too, with the first row of seats just 46 feet from the sideline. That's the shortest distance in any NFL stadium. It doesn't have a retractable roof, but MetLife Stadium compensates for this by boasting four giant video boards, one at each corner of the field. These screens ensure a great view of the game no matter where you are. There's also more than 2100 HD monitors scattered throughout the stadium, so you won't miss the action even if you get up to grab a snack. MetLife Stadium has a number of high-tech features to enhance the fan experience too. There's a free Wi-Fi zone and an app that lets fans get real-time stats, watch instant replays, and even order food from their seats. The app also helps with parking, public transportation, and getting around the massive stadium. Ground broke on MetLife Stadium in 2007, and it opened its doors in April 2010. Most stadiums are typically at least partially publicly funded, but MetLife Stadium was a bit unusual. The whole project was privately funded by the New York Giants, the New York Jets, and MetLife. The final cost came out to $1.6 billion with no significant delays or going over budget. Accounting for inflation, that comes out to $2.3 billion in 2024. There were debates whether to build MetLife Stadium with a roof because of the Jersey weather, but they ultimately decided against it. And despite this, MetLife became the first open-air, cold-weather stadium to host the Super Bowl in 2014. Nicknamed the Death Star because of its sleek black exterior, Allegiant Stadium has a futuristic design inside and out. It's home to the Las Vegas Raiders and UNLV's football team. The $1.9 billion price tag in 2020 translates to $2.31 billion in 2024. The stadium has a domed roof made from ETFE, which allows in plenty of natural light while also keeping it cool from the scorching desert heat. Inspired by stadiums in London and Munich, this 65,000 seat stadium expands to 72,000 for mega events. One of Allegiant Stadium's biggest features is its retractable field. The whole natural grass field rolls out of the stadium for sunlight and maintenance, kind of similar to the Arizona Cardinals State Farm Stadium. They use the natural grass for NFL games. Then, a turf field is rolled into its place for UNLV games and other events. Allegiant Stadium has a natural Bermuda grass home field for Raiders games, stored outside of the stadium, and then wheeled in on game day. For other events, the field is changed to a high-quality artificial surface called field turf. This dual surface capability keeps the grass fresh for NFL games while offering a more durable option for concerts and other events. Then there's the Al Davis Memorial Torch, a 3D printed flame in memory of the Raiders' iconic owner. It's the world's largest 3D printed object and brings a pretty substantial touch of history to this ultra-modern stadium in a unique way. Number one on this list is SoFi Stadium. It holds the record for the world's most expensive sports stadium ever built with construction costs of $5.5 billion. This stadium in Inglewood, California is home base for the NFL's Los Angeles Rams and LA Chargers. Opening back in 2020, SoFi Stadium is a marvel of modern technology with a space age design unmatched by any other stadium. One of its most distinguishing features is the open canopy design. The seating capacity accommodates 70,000 fans, though it can be extended to about 100,000 for big events like the Super Bowl or major concerts. Probably the most overwhelming feature of SoFi Stadium is the Oculus, a 4K double-sided video board that snakes in an oval shape above the field. At 120 yards in length, this is the largest video board in sports history. Unraveled, it's longer than the football field itself. This beautiful piece of tech allows every fan to see the action, no matter the seat. Aside from football, SoFi Stadium hosts a number of other events like concerts or award shows, and the venue itself will be a key one for the 2028 Olympics and the 2026 FIFA World Cup. The stadium has what's known as one of the most resilient turfs from Matrix Turf for both football and soccer. 
With the stadium being home to two NFL teams and hosting several big events throughout the year, having a synthetic surface makes it much easier to maintain than a natural grass would be. SoFi's $5.5 billion construction costs equates to $5.95 billion in 2024. So at this point, how long will it be before an NFL team spends $6 billion on a new stadium? Let us know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more on the business of sports.